was asked, what would my playlist be if I had my own version of the Omnitrix and I could get any creature from any form of media? So here's part one of my top 10 picks for my personal Omnitrix. Xenomorph is definitely taking the first slot. Xenomorphs are nothing to play with, bro. These guys are vicious creatures that can fit into almost any space. I was thinking he would take more of the Wild Mutt slot because of the fact that they hear and see through thermal detection. Quite honestly, the main thing you gotta worry about from Xenomorphs is that tail. Not to mention the fact that they are really intelligent, even able to bait experienced hunters like the Predator and even lure them into traps. These creatures can take some punishment, let me tell you. Adult Xenomorphs can take some premium hits. They have durability through the roof. Not to mention their bodily fluid is just straight up acid. Trust and believe, even if you believe you have a Xenomorph on the ropes, they always have something up their sleeve. If I were to say I wanted the ultimate form, it would definitely be the Xenomorph Queen. I mean, good golly gee Moses, should I say more? Because I promise you, if a Xenomorph got to Earth, this planet would be done. We would be finished. Yeah, first pick, no question. Xenomorphs for slot number one. Well, folks, this is part two of me picking my personal playlist for my own Omnitrix. And remember, folks, I'm picking creatures from any type of media. Yeah, the second slot in my Omnitrix would definitely be a demon from Fire Force. Any encounter you have with one of these creatures will definitely give you PTSD. Yeah, I picked a demon to replace Heat Blast because they definitely have the firepower to match up to their name. Also, demons are quite ruthless and they will hit the absolute hell out of you. Demons are also incredibly durable. They can be hit with plasma swords and don't even leave a scratch. I'm telling you, you have to absolutely, no question, be strong to go up against a demon. So if you don't watch Fire Force, let me give you the scope of how durable these creatures really are. To merc just one of them, Benny Maru had to hit one this hard, and the impact from that hit turned the moon and the sky red. Another scope, Shinra had to gain one second of power from an alternate dimensional beam, just to be able to move multitudes faster than light, just to kick one demon. With so much force, the light blanketed the sky. If I had to pick my demon form, it would be the Smiling Demon, and my name for him would be Fuego. I'm all about power, so why not go with Boros and his species? Boros primarily talked about himself most of the time, but it's not ruled out that his species couldn't do the same things that he can. Judging by Boros, his species have the innate ability to conceal their power and then have a transformation behind it. When this true transformation is unleashed, all hell will break loose. After entering their second stage, they unleash a massive amount of energy. Boros stated that his energy output is so powerful it can disintegrate people even down to their bones. The first blast attack he launched was this large. Hell, he can regenerate on a cellular level, growing back limbs almost instantly. And then this man still has a second form that's moving this fast and outputting this much power. Not to mention, he kicked this man Saitama straight to the moon. He is said to, quote, have planet surface destroying or planet destroying power. If I had to give him a name, his name would be Conquest. I definitely have a hybrid commander in my Omnitrix. Ben mad slept on getting this in his Omnitrix. We're talking about an alien that completely whacks them every time they fought. Not only are the hybrid commanders massive as hell, on top of that, they're so strong, even Gwen's mana couldn't contain them. You know absolutely how many L's Humongousaur has taken to hybrid commanders? This is one of Ben's strongest aliens and he is getting no diffed. And on top of that, these creatures are like evolved plants, so they don't need food, they just need water. And on top of that, they can shoot these really sharp daggers from their hands. If a hybrid commander can give Ben so much trouble, I would hate to see what an ultimate one can do. You want to know what the best part of this alien is too? These guys can fly. And of course, since you guys want me to do it, I'll also give him a name. Yeah, judging from how the hybrid mentality is, I think I'll call this transformation superior. Folks, this is part 5 of my top 10 playlist for my Omnitrix. See people, you know me, and you know I like the heavy hitters, so why not pick one that even the gods fear? If I had the Omnitrix, I would definitely be getting a scan of Surtur. Yes, Surtur is considered a god, but he is actually just an alien. He is the ruler of his species of fire giants in his realm. See, in the comics and in the movies, Surtur is a beyond Omega level threat. He is able to mentally dominate and command an army of fire giants and demons in his realm. In the comics, it took a combined might of Thor, Loki, and Odin just to even try and combat against them, and they still thought they would lose. Not to mention the fact that he has the power to destroy an entire galaxy just to get the materials to forge his sword. Then he has the firepower of a thousand blazing suns. The reason Surtur is feared so much is because he's supposed to bring Armageddon to the realm of Asgard. Even the goddess of death in the movies couldn't stop him. What is a good name for an alien meant to bring Armageddon? I think I'll name him Cataclysm. Folks, it's time for part 6 of my top 10 playlist for my Omnitrix. See, I would definitely be picking the Nephilim from Darksiders. Now, the Nephilim are a race. They can be born from angels and demons and live on Earth. They can be scanned because they do have a genetic makeup, and there were plenty of them. It's just that the four horsemen that we know and love had enough of them just taking random lives, so they decided to slaughter them all. See, by themselves already, the Nephilim had the power to take over realms, which they did, and the other four horsemen were given even more perfect bodies because of the fact that they served the Charred Council. The Nephilim are extremely powerful and very adept at combat. A lot of them are born 
it was incredible magic power. I mean, without any amps, War was able to take on a demon this big. Hell, now that I think about it, they completely destroy giant monsters on a daily. Even advanced lords of hell like Semiel still fear the power of the writers. Also, along with their other abilities, they can prevent people from going intangible. War even went up against Abaddon, someone who can literally challenge the laws of creation. And even still, in his true form, he overpowered him. Plus, all the Nephilim just come out the womb looking badass as hell. And the Nephilim can always transform and make themselves more powerful. Yeah, and I definitely named myself Mania. Hey folks, it's time for part 7 of my top 10 Omnitrix playlist. Yeah, I would definitely be adding a white spike from the Samara War. Yeah, definitely one of the most terrifying aliens I've seen in recent history. Like the name suggests, white spikes shoot, well, white spikes. Not to mention the fact that they're incredibly durable and packed like creatures. Trust, it takes a lot to put one of these bigger guys down. Along with having incredible strength, they also have these crazy tendrils that shoot out from their backs. Creatures do have intelligence because they're smart enough to take hostages. Peak of the white spike capabilities is his queen most definitely, because if you go on up against one of these, you're definitely emptying the clip. By the end of the movie, the White Spike Queen was a whole unit. She had her eyes taken out, her throat cut, everything emptied the clip on her, and she still kept fighting even when poisoned by something that can literally kill her. She just tore her arm off. No matter how much damage she took, she just wanted more smoke. If I'd have to give a name for this creature, it would definitely be Havoc. Folks, it's about that time for part 8 of my top 10 Omnitrix playlist. I would definitely be adding a Fishman to my Omnitrix. Fishmen have such control over water, even a little bit of it can knock the absolute hell out of somebody. Just a drop of water being thrown at you by a Fishman can leave you like this. So durable, they can even tank swords to the face. Arlong is definitely an example of a Fishman at his peak because they can even do crap like this. They can take their own jaws out and use them as weapons and regrow their teeth. Fishmen can also rapidly launch themselves out of water. Their superior leg strength also allow them to use moves like this outside of the water. Fishmen are strong enough to break through solid concrete with little to no effort. Along was able to cut his entire palace in half just by swinging a sword multiple times. Also, Fishman have their own fighting style called Fishman Karate, which the Omnitrix will give you. One of the most impressive feats about Brick Fist in Fishman Karate is that it seems like it can distort space. Once the attack is launched, it creates this crazy distortion that affects the entire environment around it. Not to mention, Fishman's control over water is ridiculous. It can fire water so pressurized it can sink fleet ships. Impressive feats like Vagabond Drill can even send people like Big Mom flying back. His name would be Orca Major is about that time and this is part 9 of my top 10 Omnitrix playlist. Yeah, I would have definitely have scanned completed malware. Why would I settle for being a standard galvanic mechamorph when I can be this ultimate giga chad? I can't say malware was capping because he's definitely the superior of his species because he don't upgrade tech. Tech upgrades him. Not to mention I dig the red and black way more. I mean malware was able to destroy his entire race and take out their entire planet within a time span of 5 minutes. So don't forget this is the same alien that tore feedback from the Omnitrix and destroyed him in front of Ben just to be petty. See, he survived being overloaded by the Omnitrix and Ben was definitely trying to murder him at this point. This is also the same alien who no dips way big and body humongousor. Also in that same fight, he tanked a planet busting attack from way big with absolutely no damage, and he began to corrupt and absorb him into his arsenal. In fact, if it wasn't for one of Ben's most broken aliens coming back exactly when they needed him, they all would have died. The malware was absolutely too powerful for normal aliens. In fact, they had to amp feedback just for them to beat malware. Yeah, I would definitely add him to the Omnitrix if I could. Folks, it's about that time, and this is part 10 of my top 10 Omnitrix playlist. Not gonna lie, if I had the option, I'd be getting a scan of Vilgax. Man has been a menace to Ben for years, and for good reason. Even without the implants on, original Vilgax was jacked. With the enhancements on, he was absolute beef supremacy, which I really want. He's strong enough to just bat away Chromostone's blast attack. If anything, I would be scanning any version of him from the past, because he has some absolutely stupid upgrades. This version of him was giving Ben 10,000 the work. In Vilgax before was already a conqueror across the galaxy before Alien Force. In Alien Force, he conquered the strongest heroes of 10 worlds by himself. This man has some crazy strength feats like destroying Mount Rushmore, flashing with a full-size Humongousaur. He can be frozen solid and then not affect him, plus he has heat vision. But anyone who can do this to Humongousaur is definitely going in the Omnitrix.